Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east. And I gotta get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there. You need to get to Wellspring and find Mayor Clayton so he can get us those supplies. Go see Jackie Weeks. He's in the back of town. You can't miss him. Just look for the big inflatable gorilla. You're new here. Stranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do look pretty strange. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk, not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly, even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time, though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you, too. You can stay here at Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit, as long as no one sees you in it again. You blend in, understand? Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat.
That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Wearing something like that could attract attention. You should see if Carver can get you something that'll make you blend in a little better. He's at the back of town. There's always some fool willing to risk his money just to take a little of yours. If you find yourself low on cash, these games are a great way to make a little extra. Come on, Sarah! If I knew anything, anything about the Scorchers, I would have told you already! Clive, you're making this worse. Just tell me what they're up to. I really don't see why it's necessary to keep this up. I mean, honestly, if I were withholding information, do you really think I'd risk this? How many drinks can I serve with only one hand or one foot? Or worse, come on, Sarah, cut it out. Now don't worry I'll about Clive over around. there. We'll he used to be a scorcher, on, please. but he couldn't cut it. Now he has to hide out here to dodge his old crew. Anyway, you look like you've been through hell. What did you find at the refinery? Firestorm is a flying gunship and, and slick as fuel? If they're close to getting this off the ground, no one will be safe, not even in Wellspring. Time's up, Clive! Wait, wait! I can get you into their base! And why should I believe you? If I know the Scorchers, they'll kill everybody, including me. So how do I shut it down? Oh no! If they find out that I helped you, then there ain't nothing in Wellspring that'll keep me safe. Next to them, you're just a bully. A uh, hot bully. Ugh, oh, fine. What's it gonna take? Just get me out of the wasteland. As far from the Scorchers as possible. <laughs> Please, you can't be serious. I need my own ship to get you that far. Look, I'm screwed either way. Find me a way out or deal with Firestorm on your own. I suggest you talk to J.K. Styles about his latest promotion. I hear Oasis is beautiful this time of year. We don't have much choice. We need Clive's help if we're gonna do this. I'll keep an eye on him here. You get a ticket from Styles. If you have trouble getting into Bash TV, talk to the race promoter in town. Care to wager on a little game? The game is short and sweet, just like me. Place bets on any of your lucky numbers and spin the wheel. Got it. Hope to see you soon. Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. You best keep as low a profile as you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. <laughs> hmm? A man from the past walks through my door and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Um, very good indeed. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. Care to trade? Pleasure 
pleasure doing business with you. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our sheriff. Attention, citizens of Wellspring. As your mayor, it is my responsibility to ensure commerce and trade flow freely in town. Well, well, well. How did do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you come to the right place. So here's the deal, fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Sure I saw them. Mutants, ten, twenty of them all over that valley. They had a hold of someone, just ripping them apart. That's why you'll never catch me leaving here. Never. Take my advice, stranger. Keep a low profile around here. You start attracting too much attention, and next thing you know, authority will be wanting to talk with you. And you don't want that. Here the mutants are spreading into the settlements, damn things. Soon they'll be busting down the town gates. Listen, if you ever spot a mutant, you kill it quick. Those things are only trouble. But you look lost. If you're looking for a drink, head to Sally's. If you're looking to race, go talk to Jackie in the back of town. It is my pleasure to announce a recent trade agreement with the town of Gun Barrel in the Southern Territories. This trade route will let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns, you got it? Get some firepower, then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan. Always got space for new races. You new in town? Well, I got everything you need to keep your vehicle working, right? Now listen, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you wanna deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, my friend. I must say, you do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why not try your luck on the track and earn some racing certificates? Trust me, they can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the impresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed. Racing is the one thing people still got that's entertaining. You win some races and people around town will look mighty favorable towards you. We've always got exciting events open. Go talk with Slim in the booth, see what he has running. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> you look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. I just take a look at all the events we have here, find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> well, everyone needs those. Interested in winning some racing certificates? Good luck. Welcome, fans. We've got another great race for you today. for sale here. What you looking for? Nice doing business with you. People always going missing, and I don't think mutants are getting them either. Something else is going on. Watch yourself. This is Mayor Clayton's town. He founded it, then convinced just about everyone to live here. Safety in numbers, he said. And he was right. As long as you're in town, you'll be safe. But out in the wasteland, well, that's a different story. Old man Clayton sure is a good mayor. He really cares about this town and the people in it. If you're looking for work, I would try Sally's. She's always got stuff that needs to be done.
You were great in that race. Didn't the authorities say it had stabilized the cost of water? Some new technology? Sure, then why does the price just keep going up? More lies from the authority. Hey, fella. Looking for work? Well, let me give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here. If people don't know you, they don't like you. And you gotta earn their respect. Best way to do that is by making the road safer. Simply stated, destroying bandits. Makes people like you and brings business into my little bar. So I'll make a deal with you. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you a little. I'll make money. You make money. We got a deal? Excellent. I think you're learning how things work around here. Listen, stranger. If you find any full water bottles in the wasteland, Coffer will pay a premium for them. We can't let the authority control the price of water. Damn bandits killed most of my family. I'm the only one left. You ever get a chance to kill one of those suckers? You take it before they try and kill you. Now looky here, I have one rule. Don't trust anyone new. And sometimes, don't trust anyone at all. Well, if it isn't a stranger from nowhere, care to try your luck at a game of cards? So this here is a simple game of cards. <laughs> it's an easy game to pick up. It can take a lifetime to master. Okay, so here's how we play it. You start with your very own deck of cards. That's right, your deck. And from that deck, you can pick the cards you think will be the best to play. Bit of chance, bit of strategy, but all good fun. You win, you lose, all on the fall of a card. Nice game. You take care. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Minoff. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. Now move out. Hello.
Hello? You a mighty fine driver there. Reminds me of myself when I was your age. Who's back? I see you return with Dan's stuff. Maybe you are trustworthy after all. You should come back later. I might have some work for you. Terrible things. Bandit raids all over these parts. We've had to keep everyone behind the wall. Watch yourself. Good to see you again, friend. Almost gave you up for lost. And I see you ditched that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors. So I want you to have my pride and joy. The Desert Striker Crossbow. Not your typical bow. It has twice the punch, and no one will hear you use it. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an Ark survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. You were mighty helpful for me and my people. And it sure be nice having someone like you around here, but... I can't take the risk of starting trouble with the authority. You be safe now. Hanging around here ain't safe. If I need anything, I'll have DR call you on the radio. Over 
What you think you're doing around here, eh? Looking for old Joe? Oh, I bet not. I ain't got nothing no one wants anyways. But growing around my swamp, that's got what people want. Plant life. Not just thorny cacti either. Special plants. Stuff that started growing after the dust settled from the Big Bang. Outer space plants or mutated plants, who cares? But in the right hands, well, these plants can be used for all kinds of special things. Valuable things, too. Now, you don't look like a dirty bandit, so I'll let you look around. Maybe you'll get lucky and find a night blossom or something. <laughs> don't go falling in the swamp. Is he a mutant yet? Then we're just like you and me. Then the space rock went and hit us. Those unlucky few left on the surface started changing. Then were crazy days. Didn't have no time to get deeper, I suppose. Now those mutants are getting worse. Don't know how, but the authorities been doing experiments on them, making them bigger and meaner. You watch out. You see a mutant, you run. Ain't no reasoning with them. They'll just tear you apart for fun. I got nothing more to say to you. Now you get going.
Pal, Mayor Clayton and Sheriff Black been asking about you. You and how the man around him. Remember, if you run out of ammo for the guns on your buggy, you can always buy more from both Carver and Surprise and Rusty by the racetracks. I hear Starkey's the best driver in town. I bet you can't wait to challenge him. Bandits own the wasteland. Maybe this town should be paying them for protection, not the authority goons. Good, you're back. I can use someone with your skills. Little problem up north that I need someone to check out. Bandits been digging in a crater north of here, and rumor has it they're refining pure feltrite. And in their hands, that's dangerous stuff. I'm gonna need you to run up there and take a look. Get me a sample of whatever the bandits are making. You'll have a long drive to get there, through some mighty dangerous areas. So make sure you're well stocked with supplies before you head out. Just keep moving, my friend. Get me a sample of whatever the bandits are doing with that feltrite. And get it back here fast. My biggest fear, those bandit clans start working together. Then they'd be real trouble. The Sheriff Black wouldn't even be able to stop them. Are you there? Yeah. The package delivery service is looking for new drivers. So, good day, my friend. The name's Stanley, and this package service is the Stanley Express. If Stanley can't get it there, my motto goes, nobody can. <laughs> but you see, I, I need drivers. Lost a few lately. Uh, now, don't worry, the job couldn't be easier. 
All you gotta do is select a destination and off you go. Of course, there is a bit of time pressure. People want their things when they want their things, right? But you make the delivery on time and I'll pay you well. Miss the time and sorry, you get nothing. It's called Stanley Express, not Stanley Almost Express. Looking to make some money? Watch for bandits and the clock. Good luck. I've got more packages that need delivering. Drive safely. I've got more packages that need delivering. Drive safely.
Heard rumors that old man Joe got some plants growing around the swamp. Special plants at that. Heard if you mix them up right, they can do a lot of good for you. You going north? Well, if you are, you better watch yourself around the dead city. There's something bad behind that wall. Just listen next time you're in the area. Pardon? You made it back. Good thing. Got a problem, and I believe you might be the man for the job. The North is a dangerous place for small buggies like yours. Afraid you're gonna need something with a little more muscle.